Hello friends, this video on quadrilaterals part 17 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Let us now look at some of the special parallelograms. So we already discussed a lot about parallelograms, but these are some special parallelograms, parallelograms with some special features. So the first one that we would discuss is a rectangle. So how is a rectangle a special parallelogram? So this is such a parallelogram where all the angles are equal. So they have equal angles. All the four angles are equal because in, normally in a parallelogram, their opposite angles are equal. But in a rectangle, all angles are equal. Now, since all angles are equal, so do you know how much would be the value of each angle? Obviously 90 degree because let's assume that each angle is X. Now there are four angles. So the total sum would be 4X. But we know that in a parallelogram, the sum of the interior angles is 360. So from this, we would get x is equal to 360 by 4, which is nothing but 90 degrees. Therefore, all the angles in a rectangle is equal to 90 degrees. Now, in a rectangle, this is the only this is like the only possible shape that you would get because all the angles should be 90 but when it comes to the sides the sides are not necessarily equal so their opposite sides are equal which is again a property of parallelogram but not all sides are equal the next special parallelogram that we would discuss is a square now in square we have equal angles like rectangle they also have equal sides that means all sides are equal, all angles are equal. That is why square is an example of a regular quadrilateral or a regular polygon because here all sides and all angles are equal. So here also each angle is equal to 90 degree and all the sides are equal. The next special parallelogram is a rhombus. Now rhombus, the speciality of rhombus is that it has equal sides but not equal angles. So all the sides are equal like square but all angles are not equal. So basically if you see square is like a combination of both rectangle and rhombus. Rectangle has all equal angles, rhombus has all equal sides and square has both the features. It has all equal angles, it also has all equal sides. So square is like a combo of both rectangle and rhombus. So these are the special parallelograms that we are going to discuss now. So let us start with rectangle. Now let's look at the properties of rectangle. Now here in rectangle as I said the important properties are all angles are equal and each of them is equal to 90 degree. Opposite sides are parallel and equal. That means this side if, if this is a rectangle A, B, C, D. In this case, opposite sides are equal. That is AB is equal to CD and AD is equal to BC. Diagonals bisect each other. So the second property of rectangle is that the opposite sides are parallel and equal, which is a, a property which is common to the parallelogram. Diagonals bisect each other. That is again a property which is common with parallelogram. In fact, because of these properties only a rectangle is also a rectangle is a parallelogram. Now another special property of rectangle is that the diagonals are equal. So this is again a property which is special to rectangle. I mean which was not present in parallelogram. Their diagonals are equal and the other properties all angles are equal. So we will try to prove only these two properties which are special in case of uh, rectangles. So let us start with this property. We will try to prove that how diagonals are equal in case of a rectangle. So for that, we have considered a rectangle. Let's name it as A, B, C, D. So this is a rectangle. The diagonals are A, C and B, D. Now let us consider two triangles. Let's consider triangles A, B, D and triangle A, B, C. That is this triangle and this triangle. So these are the two triangles that we consider. Now in these two triangles we find that angle A is equal to angle B because both are equal to 90 degrees. We also find that AB is equal to AB which is a common side. 
we also find that AD is equal to BC that is this side is equal to this side because opposite sides are equal in case of a rectangle. Now with all these three in place we find that triangle ABD is congruent with triangle ABC by which congruency? This would be by SAS that is side angle side congruency. Now since these two triangles are congruent, this triangle and this triangle, now when I say this triangle, it is this entire triangle. Therefore, we can say that BD would also be equal to AC because BD is one side of this triangle and AC is one side of triangle ABC. Therefore, BD will be equal to AC and what are BD and AC? BD and AC are nothing but the diagonals. So we have actually proved that the diagonals are equal in case of a rectangle. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.